guys and welcome to the family fudge. Today I'm sharing my huge back to school haul. Now I love back to school season and I especially love the prices. So when I can find them low, I definitely stock up. This year I had three students to buy for so we really needed a lot of stuff. So stay tuned and I will share it all with you. Now for this school year, I'm going to have a third grader, a kindergartner, a preschooler, and then of course there's the baby. And we sort of have a different homeschool setup because we belong to a homeschool charter. So that means four days out of the week, the kids are at home with me, and one day they get to attend a sort of more traditional school setting. So hopefully they're getting the best of both worlds. But that also means I need some of these supplies at home and some they're gonna take with them to the school. And of course, I was trying to be budget-minded when gathering all of these supplies. I'm hoping that all of these things will last most of the year, if not the whole year. We'll see. But because I wanted the best price, I shopped around. Most of these things came from the Dollar Tree, some came from Target, some from Walmart, and a few things from Costco. So here's what we got. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with everything from the Dollar Tree first, because most of my things came from there. And I have to say, I'm really loving all the bright colors that were available. All of these things will be color-coded for my kids. Things that are pink will belong to Mackenzie, things that are purple will be for Lily, and things that are orange will be for Jackson. I also picked up the green because I really like the green and it gives us one extra of everything. Just in case we lose something or something breaks, we have a spare that any of the kids can use. First up, I have these guys. This is a notebook three hole punch and it also has a ruler. And what I really like is it actually collects all the little bits of paper in the back here. So hopefully they won't be all over my house. Next up, I have our mini staplers. Of course, I have one in each color, one for each child, plus a spare. And I really like these mini ones because not only are they just a dollar, but it comes with 500 staples. And hopefully, they'll be leaving my stapler alone. And then we have these guys. This is basically like a brightly colored contact paper. So you can use this for covering books, or lunch boxes. It's just like a big sticker. So we got one of each of these colors. And then we have the index cards. I used to use index cards all the time when I was studying. So I definitely wanted to pick up one for Mackenzie and one for Jackson. And I decided to get one for Lily and then a spare. And then these cute guys I couldn't resist. These are pencil sharpeners. And I just love the happy little face. So each child will have their own, plus a couple of spares. Next up, we have the pencil pouches. Of course, I have one of each of our favorite colors. And these are really well made. I don't think they're gonna fall apart at all. And I like that they're clear so you can tell what's inside. I also picked up some collapsible storage containers, but unfortunately, the store did not have orange. So maybe the next couple of days, I can go back and pick up an orange one. And I really like these on a bookshelf to corral all kinds of supplies. I also picked up two packages of portfolios. Now each one of these packages comes with four and each comes with two colors. So this one has our green and our orange and then this one has the purple and the pink. And I really like these ones because it has the three prongs which is really important to keep your papers inside. I also picked up two packages of these index dividers. These ones actually include the inserts right there, so you can just write whatever subject and slip it right in. Next up, I have some jumbo pencil pouches. Now, unlike the other ones, these ones are much larger and they do not have holes, so they can't go in a binder. But I like the size, they feel really sturdy. Unfortunately, they did not have an orange. But I like to use these for things like flashcards or math manipulatives, like little pieces of things are perfect in these big bags. And they're really good for road trips as well, for like a busy bag. Next we have the binders, a lot of binders. I picked up three purple, three orange, three pink, and three green, and also four of the white. Now these colored ones honestly aren't the best quality, and I'm not sure that they're gonna last more than a year, they do have a pocket inside. There is not a pocket in the front, but they do sell these guys. And these are adhesive labels for your binders. So you can actually slip in a little paper so you can put the name on the binder or the subject that way. 
Now the clear ones do actually have this front pocket and I picked up four white ones to put things like manuals and dittos and things like that. So these would be more for the teacher. Now I went ahead and got each child three because two are going to hold subjects and one I'm going to turn into their portfolio, which is where we're gonna store the work that we have to turn into our charter school. I also picked up a package of labels. This comes with 50 and of course it has all of our favorite colors. Next, I picked up an eight pack of the glue sticks and I really like that now you're getting eight instead of four, but I have to say I've never tried Dollar Tree glue before, so hopefully it'll work. And then I picked up another package of the Jumbo Kid Tweezers. I picked up two last time because my store only had two, but I definitely wanted a third pair because I have three kids that want to use them. Or, you know, it's always nice to have a spare. And then we have these guys. I love their word strips from the Dollar Tree. This one is adjectives and nouns, adverbs and verbs. And I will actually cut these in half and laminate them and hopefully they'll last a lot longer that way. Uh oh, I forgot one. This one is synonyms. Next up are the stickers. I was really impressed to find these at my Dollar Tree because these are very similar to ones that you would find at Michael's for planners. Look at these you guys, they are so cute. This one's like a washi tape almost. So we have this one that's sort of owls and alphabets. This one is alphabets and sort of more primary colors. So yeah, very similar to what you'd find at Michael's for your planners. And then this one we have the letters and treats, I love the strawberry one. Isn't that pretty? I love that for just a dollar. And then I also have a package of princess stickers, troll stickers. This one is sort of outer space themed. And then kitties and puppies. Now my kids love stickers. Some of these will go on their binders to decorate them up. And others I'll save for rewards. Now all the things from Walmart. I love Walmart's back to school sales, especially for their markers and crayons. You cannot beat the price. I picked up some sidewalk chalk, four packages of the washable markers. These were only 50 cents a box. So I got four, hopefully they'll last all year. I got four boxes of crayons. These are only 25 cents. I have two packages of the colored pencils. These will be for my older kids. Now sometimes I do like to buy the name brand, while other times I think the store brand or the generic brand are just fine. And then we have a ton of pencils. I really like these pre-sharpened Ticonderoga pencils. They are definitely my favorite. And then this year we're trying out mechanical pencils for the first time. I've never given these to the kids before, Hopefully they'll do okay with them. Otherwise, they're gonna be all mine. And then for my preschooler, I picked up two packages of the larger pencils. These are perfect beginner pencils, much easier for little hands to hold. Next up is more glue. I really like the giant sticks of glue. I think it's much faster to spread on a piece of paper. And you'll notice I didn't get any liquid glue because we literally have like nine gallons of liquid glue <laughs> left over from when we were making slime. Then we have my favorite crayons. I got four of these boxes because they were on sale, just about $3 a box. And these are actually the twistable crayons. And I like these because they don't break as much as the smaller ones. The kids can't roll off the paper. There's no paper on these. And these are actually self sharpening. So these are a little bit more expensive, but I really like these better than these guys. So I'll probably give these ones to Mackenzie and Jackson and I'll let Lily have these ones. Okay, just a few more things from Walmart. I picked up a package of the pencil top erasers. We go through a lot of erasers in this house. And then I picked up scissors. Mackenzie chose these ones. It's kind of like a waffle and an ice cream with sprinkles. So those are super cute. Jackson picked out these plain red ones, but you know what? These ones were only 50 cents. I think this one was more like $2. And then these ones I got for Lily. And now just a few things from Costco. I got this huge pack of construction paper. 
It comes with 12 different colors, a total of 684 sheets. That's a lot of paper. So this is gonna last a long time, and it was less than $10. And then we have these guys. These are project boxes, and it came in a pack of five for less than $14, which is a really good deal. I love these for school projects and different activities that the kids work on. It came with a clear one, an orange one, a green one, a pink one, and purple. And now on to the things from Target. Now I know these aren't really school supplies, but I needed some new desk lamps for our school room. So I picked up two of these white ones and they were only about $7.99 each. So a pretty good deal. Now all of these things came from the dollar spot. First up, there's this cute banner. It's the alphabet, of course, and it comes on a rope so you could hang it up as a decoration or you could use them as flashcards. This was actually $3. Then I have a package of incentive charts. This comes with 16 charts and the stickers. And then these guys are sold separately, but they kind of go together. This is the pocket chart, and this is a package of cards. And in this package, we have a little clock and then the subject. So you can definitely map out your schedule with these cards. And then these guys as well are sold separately, but they kind of go together. This is a package of calendar cards. We have the days of the week, the numbers, and the months. And they go into this pocket calendar. So this is a really large pink calendar with all the little slots to put your days of the week and your numbers. And this was $3. Now lastly from Target, I picked up some shower caddies. Now I know that sounds strange to have shower caddies, but I'm gonna take these and put the kids' pencils and pens and crayons and scissors in there. So it's kind of like a pencil box, but it will hold more items. So each kid will have one and I will have one for myself. And I like that these are bigger than the ones from the Dollar Tree, so they can definitely hold more items. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's haul. If you did, could you please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite back to school supply is. I know when I was a kid, I liked just about anything that was from Lisa Frank, especially if it had a kitten on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.